I'm Dr. Adam Abrams. I would like to go over pre-op instructions for your strabismus surgery. On the morning of surgery, report directly to the surgery center, not our office. Please arrive on time for your surgery. The surgery center runs a tight schedule with many patients before and after you. Time is needed to get you ready for surgery. Do not eat or drink after midnight before surgery. This is a strict safety requirement. If you accidentally eat or drink the morning of your surgery, unfortunately, your surgery must be canceled. You may take your usual morning medications with small sips of water only. You must stop all blood thinners before strabismus surgery. This must be cleared by your primary care physicians. Specifically, you must stop non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs such as aspirin, Motrin, Advil, and Aleve 10 days before surgery. Resume one day after surgery. You may take Tylenol. Stop Xarelto, Pradaxa, or Eliquis five days before surgery. Resume one day after surgery. Stop Coumadin three days before surgery and resume one day after surgery. Please note that depending on your particular medical history, the risks of stopping blood thinners may outweigh the benefits of strabismus surgery. This decision must be made by you and your primary care physician, cardiologist, or other prescribing doctor. If you have taken any of these medications past the deadlines, we must cancel your surgery for safety reasons. Wash your hair and face the night before or morning of surgery. Do not wear eye makeup. Wear comfortable, loosely fitting clothing. You will change into a hospital gown at the surgery center. You do not need special drops before strabismus surgery, only after. Continue any other eye medications such as glaucoma drops, both before and after strabismus surgery. Do not wear contact lenses to your surgery and be advised that you will not be able to wear them for about four weeks after surgery. If you wear glasses with prism, make sure you have your new glasses without prism ready to wear after surgery, unless you will not be wearing glasses after surgery. History and physical forms must be received by noon, two days before your surgery. Due to strict surgery center regulations, if your physical has not been done and the completed form not received, your surgery will have to be canceled.